Welcome to a Hero Roundtable video podcast series something as we uh, go into the new year. Uh, my first business uh, was called the Janus Center and I use Janus uh, who's who gives us the name January for the month, first month of the year, um, because Janus was the god of looking backwards and looking forwards. So uh, as we change one year into the other, I thought uh, this would be a good time to start the show. Um, I can reflect a little bit back on 2018 and discuss uh, what's coming in 2019. 2018 was the first year that we've run three Hero Roundtables. We were in uh, San Francisco in May. We were in Yarram in Australia in uh, August. And then the usual stomping grounds in uh, Livingston County in Michigan in uh, October, end of October, as, as is our tradition. That event was our 10th uh, since 2013. So five years, 10 events. Uh, and this year was the first. We got three. So it's been a pretty... Uh, uh, landmark kind of year uh, and 2019 is shaping up to be um, I don't know more even more memorable a uh, couple of events are confirmed uh, Yarram in Australia will be uh, March 2nd and 3rd uh, so if you were there last year you'll know uh, what a great kind of small town um, community building event that one was and then uh, Michigan will be uh, a week later this year in October, October 20, I want to say the 28th and 29th, um, Monday, Tuesday, somewhere around there. Um, and then we've got a few others in the pipeline. Uh, certainly interesting going back to San Francisco and we're working on that. Uh, we need some sponsors, already got some speakers uh, lined up for that and, and others that are interested. And uh, a couple of other places around the place. Um, we'll talk more about those as we get to them. The other thing going forward is this video show. Um, it's uh, a way to keep the YouTube channel ticking along, I suppose, in between events. Um, it's a way to create some community, um, create some conversation. Um, and... Uh, It'll take the form of three different types of episodes, three, that is, uh, and um, there'll be one weekly and one uh, possibly weekly, um, well, two others possibly. Possibly they're all three weekly, but one definitely weekly and the other two will be sort of as circumstances allow. Um, it'd be great to have them weekly, but I don't know. Um, depends what you, are, as the viewer, are interested in, whether you... Uh, you know, whether three times a week is too much, um, there'll be there'll be some short episodes, some long episodes. So uh, I'll I'll keep an eye out for your thoughts and comments, and certainly email or uh, tweet or leave comments on YouTube or Patreon uh, to let me know. So the first type of show uh, will be titled Round the Table, and that's going to be an interview series uh, where I'll uh, discuss. Uh, topics and stories and um, uh, work uh, with people from lots of different backgrounds, lots of different um, levels of experience in different fields. Um, and sometimes, yeah, most of the time, it'll be one-on-one -on -one or maybe uh, a three-person uh, conversation. Uh, but, but sometimes we'll have some uh, larger panel sessions or larger discussion sessions around a topic. Uh, where we might pull some different uh, disciplines in to talk about or around one particular piece of uh, heroism and heroic action. So around the table, um, you know, gets back to that uh, around the campfire discussion. Um, the whole idea of a round table is that everyone's uh, seated equally and, um, and and is sharing ideas, sharing their lessons, um, that sort of thing. So really, it goes back to why the Hero Roundtable conferences exist, uh, but this gets it uh, out into the cyberspace um, so that it's easier for you to consume. You don't have to physically turn up somewhere. Uh, so that's the first type of episode, Round the Table.
second type of episode is uh, titled Gone Before Us. And uh, the idea of that is a series of 12-minute uh, profiles of, of various heroes that have resonated with me. And the Gone Before Us part comes from Joseph Campbell's uh, quote that I think is, for me, is his most important quote around the hero's journey and, and applying it uh, to our lives. He said something along the lines of, uh, we don't have to go on the journey alone because the heroes of all time have gone before us. And so Gone Before Us is a way for me to highlight some of the hero stories that have helped me uh, on my journey, um, whether that's recently, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Um, these people have had specific um, events, um, stories, actions uh, that have resonated me with me uh, in some way. So I'll be uh, putting those together with some some uh, visuals. Uh, ideally, we can get some archival footage, um, perhaps interviews they've done, but I'll be adding some graphics in there in some way. Um, but if you're listening to this on uh, audio podcast, you won't be missing too much, I wouldn't think at this point. Um, all of these shows are going to be evolving as we go. Uh, and I think this one probably will take a bit of time to really find its feet, find its look. Um, its format is definitely going to be uh, 12 minutes, though, to, to stay with the 12-minute the theme in Hero Roundtables. I think, I think that's plenty of time to really get to the heart of uh, a story. And the third type of episode is this one. Uh, it is... Uh, kind of a collection of anything uh, it'll be updates around hero round tables and uh, where we're going where we've been uh, when the, the uh, talks are published um, speakers we've recruited for upcoming events uh, that sort of thing as well as um, scenes and interviews and whatnot from the events themselves so we'll be recording stuff uh, during the events the kind of the experience of being there this type of episode is called Right Great Riches, which comes from a line in uh, Mallory's King Arthur stories where Arthur is considering his round table of knights and he says, uh, these knights um, are better than all right great riches. And for me, it, this the, using this title kind of reminds me of uh, all the great riches uh, that I've... Uh, been given uh, in, in, in being part of the, all of these hero round tables uh, the people that I've met the experiences I've had um, the different ways of thinking about things so uh, this this kind of episode will be reflecting on those um, it'll be yeah it'll be kind of a slice in the life of uh, putting the hero round table together and uh, each of these episodes these right great riches will end with a member minute so uh, if you're a Patreon subscriber uh, or Patreon a patron, uh, you can send in a 60-second clip, no more than 60 seconds, and uh, get put on at the end of the show. So if you've got something to say, something about uh, the topic of heroism, uh, you can certainly send me in a 60-second clip, and uh, you'll see one of those at the end of this very first episode. Yes, you're one of those people that wants to cultivate a heroic mindset and you want to get out there, you want to change the world, you want to answer the call to adventure, don't take forever. Because someday, you're going to wind up here. Just like the rest of us. There's a Latin phrase, memento mori, remember you must die. Don't live like you have thousands of years to accomplish your goals, whatever they may be. Because if you need a reminder, here it is. Stop at a cemetery sometime. Let yourself contemplate your own mortality. Not to be morbid, not to stress yourself out, but to motivate you, to give you a little kick in the pants to get you moving again. Because you don't have forever to benefit the world with your heroic mindset. The world needs you to get out there and take action now. It's natural to procrastinate, but fight that instinct. Answer the call to adventure sooner rather than later, before you wind up here.